There are mounting concerns tonight about the rising tide of hate in this country faced by queer and trans black Canadians. A summit in Ottawa this weekend gave people a place to gather and call for the creation of a national organization to help support the community. CTV's Colton Prale reports. As a black queer woman, Shelly Ann Skinner understands discrimination. Like burning a pride flag and like, you know, and uh, calling me the N word and calling me the B word. An outspoken activist in Barrie, Ontario, she says the attacks came to a head when she ran for city council in 2018. I experienced an incredible amount of hate, um, you know, like phone calls, messages, emails, you know, threats to my life, threats to the life of my children. According to a new study, 70% of black LGBTQ2S plus people have reported experiencing a hate crime. The basic decency of walking down the street hand in hand with your partner is something that I don't feel safe to do and that people who look like me around this country also don't feel safe to do. It comes as a growing number of conservative politicians have voiced support for policies limiting gender affirming care or even the spaces available to transgender women. In Alberta, queer organizations say they're already feeling the backlash. We're seeing where relationship building used to be happening, the bridge being cut down simply to avoid the negative immediate backlash and consequences of being willing to engage with queer and uh, trans communities. Advocates are calling for the creation of a national organization dedicated to specifically supporting queer black Canadians, citing a lack of resources outside of major cities, while those that do exist are often unequipped to handle their unique situations. It's not something in Edmonton. It's not something in Ottawa. It's a feeling of unsafety that black, queer and trans people have all over this country. The gender equality minister says the summit is a reminder of the need to push for progress, but Ottawa wouldn't commit to funding the creation of a new organization, only saying that everything is on the table. Heather. All right, Colton, thank you.